Welcome. I'm here to tell you about photonic acupuncture. And recently a development has happened with Lizard Labs where we can create a station for uh, people who want to do acupressure, I should say, photo acupressure, and use this to uh, uh, experiment with people and make it make it a good time for the key channels. So here it is. This is the actual unit. Battery pack on the bottom. Or you can plug in. Simply a minor detail, but the main part is up here. And that's what it is. That's what it looks like. And what all these are, these are channels that you can plug into. This is a RCA and each one of these numbers represents the hertz in which these channels are sending electricity through to light up LEDs on as applicators. So as an example, here is one of those. This is still in kind of a quasi-prototype thing. But you see, we have a nice little cord. And this is a selenite tip inside a plastic housing connected to a colored LED and on the other side we have our RCA mail and so we switch this on and now it's operating so we have all these different frequencies and these were devised by the uh, understanding and research of Dr. Paul Nogier N-O-G-I-E-R and I will send links at the bottom about how you can research further his findings. So we have it's different hertz, you have your color which is loosely you could say based on the usage of spectrochrome of um, Dinshaw and I will put his information as well down in the uh, description of this video. So in a nutshell you take your applicator unit, say you have one of these you want to do acupressure, put in, say, there you go. So that's one of the fre treatment frequencies, meaning research, because this is, of course, not a medical device. This is a research device, and I make no medical claims whatsoever. So with this research device you're having plugged in, you want to use red at 2.28 hertz. You have this, and then you can start, you know, pressing wherever you find to be uh, on your charts or if you're sensitive to make those kind of conclusions yourself. But anyway, so let's read at that and then say, okay, I want to change hertz. Pull out one, do another. You see that's at 146 hertz, not imperceivable. So there you go, different pulse rate. Pulse rate, different pulse rate, so forth. Red, lots of different colors. Here we go. That's pretty cool. We got purple. Again with the selenite. and so on and so forth. So, it's not just limited to one. There can be several. You can plug in several of these. And so say this unit is being used by multiple uh, the term be practitioners or research scientists and whatnot. So, a person can be applying this how many? Ultimately up to eight can be working, you can be treating eight people at once if they all happen to have the different, um, you know, different conditions of research. So, anyway, thought that would be cool. A little light candy for you. And uh, hope you understand the uh, implications of this kind of technology. So, I find it absolutely fascinating. And this is, let's see, uh, PVC outer shell, 
driven by an Arduino microcontroller on the inside. This is, of course, open source and possibly available for sale for people who might be interested. It would be somewhere around in the hundred and something dollars. Um, cheaper versions of this would be to have less frequencies and just have the U 1.14 Hertz, the universal frequency that Paul Norgier um, did his research on. And personally, I've done my own self-experimentation done my own self-experimentation and I really found a great effect out of it. So much so that it was worth putting all this together to make something that that I could use and thought it would be good you know, to share if anyone else is interested because it's a wide world out there and there's so much to learn. So um, good, good tidings to you all and have a great day. If you'll excuse me, I gotta go make some Organite. And just a little bonus here, I thought you might want to see. Here it is all connected together. And here they are. 
all doing all doing their thing. So that would be quite a uh, quite an effective means for treating experimenting, I should say, a bunch of people. So anyway, have a great day. Selenite on.